Yo, what the hell's up everyone? I'm back with another exciting Mortal Kombat 1 playthrough. I am your host, Big Huge Man. Let's begin. Alright. Ah, fuck it. More 3D era vibes. With a uh, hint of classic cameo. Let's see how we do. <laughs> Oh, I'm I always get so scared that I can't land that combo. That was a pretty decent double hit. The, the aerial kick into the dashing downward kick. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's try it. Let's see if this works. Yeah! <laughs> Love it. Love it. Sometimes when I try to... When I end the combo with that special move, it doesn't do it. So it's a relief that... Well, it's not really more of a... It's not really a relief, but like... Just kind of sucks <laughs> that I can't do that brutality when like I'm ending a combo with that move. <clears throat> hey, that's the skin I put on him last time. I think I don't remember. Damn it! Will you let me land a hit on you? Shit. That's what I always get scared of, butchering it. There we go. There we go. I don't know. My thumb pressing is kind of off with it. What the fuck? It's really weird to imagine him doing that. Oh, come on. Uh had to go spam me for a second. Round two. Fight. Cause I fucked up. <laughs> you motherfucker. Are you f <laughs> Oh my god, that's so weird to imagine. Bro, you're about to fucking die anyway. Let me land this shit. I don't know if it was too much health for it not to go through. <laughs> Can't stand when the AI is like, I'm gonna fight back anyway, even if you are gonna win. Too fucking bad. Let me take this W. You take the L.
Oh, don't start that. Round two. Fight! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! <laughs> it's another one of my favorites. That is just so clean. That is just so clean. I really hope it doesn't become a pattern. But, um... I do find it weird that in MK11, the one character with the celebrity voice actress... Or with the, or with the celebrity... Um, actress voicing the character that was received so poorly by characters was also on <laughs> was also amongst my uh, my my playthrough videos and here we are again with fucking Natara who's voiced by Megan Fox yeah a lot of people aren't fans of Fox's portrayal as Natara <clears throat> like some people think like the, the delivery just falls flat and I can kind of see it but I mean I don't make too big of a deal out of it Round two. Fight. cause you know WB's got money so of course they're gonna hire a, a celebrity to do a voice Ah, that's another um, ending move that I always butcher so much. Because if you look at the description for his for his cameo fatality, is that you gotta be at sweeping distance to do it. Sometimes that throws me off because I'm like sweeping distance, like don't I have to just be up close. But man, this game is so precise when it comes to like where you have to be in order to land a fatality. Well, really when it comes to like the close fatalities when you're like face to face with them. You either gotta be face to face or like leg sweeping distance. It's really weird. But a lot of those you gotta look out in the description for. Hell, fucking Gears' move said wasn't even that precise. But I couldn't even land most of this shit anyway. I liked playing as Gears, man, but his brutalities are. Ugh. They were good. But I hated trying to land them. Oh, don't start this shit. No. Fuck that. Round <laughs> two. I think there's a typo in that subline and in, in that subtitle. Cause it sounds like she's saying flesh. But the but the uh, the subtitle says says fresh. So like is it a typo or I don't know. Did Megan say the wrong word in the in the <laughs> In the booth, I'm not sure. Alright. Fatality. 
Katara wins. Pretty sick. I like it. Oh yeah, so guess what I did recently? I completed the shrine. <laughs> it's so fucking cool. Never expected to do that before. I didn't think the shrine had a limit, but... Actually, no, it's kind of given. Because it doesn't tell you, like, that you... It doesn't tell you, like, the progress of, like, all the shit you've unlocked. Well, not from not from the shrine menu, of course. At least not for me. It'll just it'll just tell you like shrine complete, come back next season. So they're probably already a little more like costume skins and whatnot. Which is really cool. Get off. I got the notification, and I was like, no fucking way. Am I done with it already? But then again, I've been playing this game constantly, you know, practicing for tapings. So, can't really say already when this is all I fucking do in my free time. But this is all I play in my free time. Y'all should know me by now. Every time a new Mortal Kombat comes out, <laughs> my mind is like, 100% focused on that. It was just like that with MK11. And same with MKX. And I don't, I don't put the game down unless I finish my uh, my, my initial um, playthrough log, which I'm coming close to the end of this one. So that'll be bittersweet, but it's bound to happen. But I have fun doing these, even if only a few people watch it. So. Chi's plot collapsed. Along with it, my plan to secure new beings to feed my starving people. Because I'd advocated for partnering with him, I was held responsible. If I didn't seize for Viternus' new feeding grounds, the coven would banish me. But then, I had a revelation. I didn't need to conquer realms to feed my people. I simply needed to capture enough beings to breed them. Once they multiply, Viternus will have a limitless, renewable source of food. And I only need a few thousand to start. A number so small compared to the billions in the realms that no one will notice as people go missing. But it will be more than enough to establish our breeding stock and feed a ravenous Viternus. Odd, but oh well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell. See you in the next one.